Hi everybody, it's Mike from Paul the Plumber. This is another one of our weekly video series that we've been doing. Today we're actually going to go through an installation that we did a few years back. Um, it's a ductless mini split install. Um, so it's a heat pump outside and then we actually have three ceiling cassette units on the inside here and we'll show you those. Um, first we'll start with the wall thermostat. This is different from if you'd have a floor unit or a unit mounted up on the wall. Um, since these ones are in the ceiling, there's a thermostat that controls them. Um, for each zone. We have two zones in here, so we'll show you that. Um, it's pretty easy to navigate. The on button's here, so we're going to turn it on right now. See that green come on? You're going to kind of hear it kick on. That's really the most noise it's going to make is when it first kicks on. Um, then you have all your modes here. So right now it's in cool, but we can put it into heat mode as well. As, I say, as I've said before, um, these things are great for not just air conditioning, but for supplemental heat and shoulder seasons as well. Um, then it also has just the fan speed mode, um, auto mode where it decides whether or not it's cool in heat depending on the temperature you set it in. So there's a bunch of different features here. Control the fan speed down here, temperature here, and then you can program it through the menu as well. Um, and it actually can actually pick where the uh, airflow direction is going to go so you can really control the temperature. So this is the ceiling cassette version of the mini split. It's more likely to see a wall mounted version or a floor mounted version, but with these two by two ceiling tiles up here, we're actually able to just throw them right up in the ceiling. Um, there's a little box on top of it that goes in above the uh, ceiling and that pipes to the outside unit. Um, so these are really nice for when you have these false ceilings, you don't have to put something up on the wall. They just slip right in here. And as you can see, you don't have to be too, too careful about where you put them either. We can put them right next to this light here. If you had an, a fire extinguisher, anything up there, um, you can put these right next to it. It doesn't bother it at all. Um, like I said, all of it just comes up through the ceiling and connects out into that unit. Just to give everyone an idea of the range that these things have, to cover pretty much this whole basement area, there is one in the office, but just to cover the basement down here, which is all he's doing. Um, actually, in this house, there is ductwork, so there's central air upstairs. That's what's great for these uh, ductless mini splits is for a basement or just an area that you have a hard time heating and cooling, you can, you can use stuff like this. But you have this unit here and the one we just showed you, and that covers the whole range of the basement area. Okay, so this outdoor unit is a 24,000 BTU unit. Um, that is for the two ceiling cassettes in the basement that we, shot, that we showed in the video. Um, and then there's also one more in the office that we didn't look at. The office is actually its own separate zone, so there's another thermostat in there as well. Um, but that's the kind of the capability of the outdoor unit. Um, you probably can't hear it. it is running right now, but it's super quiet, so you don't have to worry about it uh, bothering the neighbors or anything, or even just bothering you when you're out enjoying the patio or the deck, whatever you have out in the backyard. Um, this was nice because we were able to stick it right under the deck, and we were able to hide the slim duck. So this is the, what goes into a ductless mini split install on the outside of the house. Um, you have these lines, these refrigerator lines and different things like that running up and down the walls to connect inside the house. And this is what protects it here. Some people call it speedy channel, some people call it slim duck. But when you have to do a whole house thing, this is what can run up and down your house to get to the different lines. Uh, it can be painted, so some people are concerned with having the white gutter looking things running up and down their houses, but you can paint it to blend into the same color as your house. This one here attaches, uh, detaches at three different spots to get to each different cassette inside. So it runs up. This one right here runs to the cassette in the middle of the basement. Then you'll see it goes across down to here. And this one goes off to the end of the basement, the first cassette that we showed you there. And then it comes right around in here and that actually goes to the office. So there's three different areas that it goes off to, but we were able to kind of keep it in this clean T shape because it's all in the same uh, it's all in the same spot downstairs. Um, but yeah, that's basically what it goes into a mini split install, uh, especially when it's just the basement. We'll try to get a we'll try to get one for you guys where we do a whole house install, uh, do a walk through the house, and then show you what that would look on the in, outside of a house sometime soon.